What I'm expecting to hear is uh, hear about uh, work that companies are doing in kind of, as they think about how work is changing. I'd love to learn more about what the leaders in the marketplace are doing in this space. I'm sure there's people who are far more advanced than we are that we can leverage. I'm not particularly into innovation, but I like the idea that it's challenging. I see change as the opportunity for improvement, uh, the opportunity to do things differently, the opportunity to try new things out. So basically I'm here this morning just to be open-minded, just to see what you have to say and see where it takes us. In the name of EY and our digital partners, I'd like to welcome you to our Future of Work event. So Future of Work for us means two things. For the first time, humans use machines to conduct activities that previously machines just couldn't do. I think the second aspect of the Future of Work is it's the first time that we now use machines, technology, to understand how we work together and why we work together in a certain way that we couldn't do before. They're saying that a child who enters junior school, who's in junior school at the moment, when they enter the workforce in 10 to 15 years' time, up to 30% of the jobs that they will be applying for don't exist yet. That's the nature of the, change, the changing environment of work. Only 30% of the CEOs find that uh, HR is linked to business outcomes. How do we make that jump from reporting to true analytics, predictive analytics, getting deep insight on the business, not just HR data? So we need to be able to connect HR data with business data and, and focus on the priorities that the business cares about, not just the things that we think are interesting for other HR executives. So the gig economy just means the on-demand workforce, which currently in the Fortune 100 is somewhere between 20 and 30 percent of the workforce. So who are all the people, as Ben said, that we have available to us? It's not just external contractors. It's external contractors, it's external vendors, it's alumni, it's current employees, and it's everyone in between, the, the network and friends of friends. The key thing here is that the candidate owns their profile. So they own the information, meaning that when they move around within the company or they leave the company, you don't lose them. On the right hand side is a Blue Prism software. It's dead easy to use. It, uh, it's a bit like building a, a process map. On this side is what the robot is doing. It gets them a car, it puts them onto flex benefits, it puts them onto a pension, it gets them a laptop. We built this in three months and implemented it. Every learner has their own hub page. So every interaction you have on the platform, be it doing a module or even just keeping up to date with the latest news in digital, you get awarded some minutes. Those minutes are then added to your lifetime minute counter and you will collect badges as you get more minutes. Then what you have is almost a currency against other learners and we create leaderboards um, for organisations. What's great is they forget they're learning to a certain extent because they just think they're playing the game. But the whole time they're learning more skills that help the organisation. We help every single manager employee do three things. We help you record how you're feeling at work very quickly and easily once a week. We then help connect you to your manager and team every week. And this gets repeated week on week. So over time, we build a rich picture of what's happened at work and we can analyze that and provide you insight back. We're trying to help managers better connect and support their teams first and then provide HR insight that really can make a strategic difference to the way they manage and view their people. So we're a software company that, that's rooted in the basis that if we can understand the way that work is actually getting done, then we can change the way that we manage. Our, our reason for being in the research was all rooted in the explosion of data. And with all this new data that's now available to us, if we could recognize patterns, again, for how work is getting done, then organizations can fundamentally change. I think this morning has, um, yet again, reawoken me, I suppose, to the amount 
of digital innovation there is out there. I think there's some really interesting technologies that we see, you know, particularly like the, um, the TV. I think what we, we need to do is measure not just the what but the how. With like the presentations today, it's quite clear that you know, the, uh, there is technology in place that can actually mimic the way humans think and, you know, um, and that's just mind-blowing, that's just mind-blowing. Having the exposure to a number of different tools, concepts and ideas and combining the knowledge and, and information sharing from EMY with your, your eco-partners, as you describe them, has been really thought-provoking for me. So I'm going back, expectant of my goodie bag, ready to kind of share with the HR leadership team a lot of the things I've heard today.